Welcome to Crafty Hints. I'm Chantel. Today we're going to personalize some items without a Cricut. Let's get to our first one. You'll start out with this Hippo Waterside decal paper and you just use an inkjet printer and print it out on the best quality. Then I took this clear spray and sprayed it over the top with three coats. Once it was dry, I just cut them out. Don't forget to give it at least 10 to 10 minutes to a half hour for each coat to dry. When you cut these out, I learned with these letters, it was the first time I did something smaller like this with the letters, maybe leave just a little bit more of the decal in between so it's just a little bit more stable. I got that tumbler off of Amazon. I wanted one that I knew would stay warm, nice quality. I got two of them, I think it was around $12, so not so bad. It was $6 and you know, it's a nice blank and it'll insulate it well. So I marked it with some masking tape so that I would have the halfway point on both. Now I put my water slide decal in the water. I'm gonna let that sit in there for 30 seconds. You'll know it's ready when you kind of pinch it in between your fingers and wiggle them and when it lets go to the backing. So I'm just gonna to touch this right on there with some of the water so that it can continue to slide a bit and then you can position it. The nice thing about this, unlike vinyl, if you stick it down, it's kind of stuck and harder to move it around. Well, with this, it can continue to slide around and you can adjust and move it just how you'd like it. I had a little bit of a ripple right there and that's why I said I'd leave a little bit more of the film in between. So after I get that straightened out, I'm gonna take my paper towel and just wipe out the excess water off of it and from underneath it. A little bit of padding, a little bit of wiping, and it's easy as that. With this, you can personalize all different colors. You're not having, you know I love my Cricut, but this is just another wonderful option to personalize some items. My mom's birthday was coming up, so I wanted to make her a nice tumbler. And I found this hummingbird image. It's from Design Bundles was where I got this graphic. I get quite a few of them there. I like to put some of my own stuff together, but they have some great graphics that I can use. And so can you. All right, I'm just gonna peel that back and we're gonna get this hummingbird in place. Keep kind of moving it around. And you don't want too much film, you know, left. I cut around it nice and close so that it doesn't just look like a clear sticker sitting on top of it. Now I did one for the back as well. I just typed this up. And Faith doesn't make things easier. It makes them possible. And that's Luke 137. And I knew my mom would enjoy that. So you can just con continue to position this around. You can use the paper towel just like I have been or a washcloth. But I found this squeegee works really nice to just wipe that out. It's just a silicone squeegee. Um, from the makeup section at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just wiping out that excess water. Not a tool that's needed there, but it works well. Didn't that turn out so pretty? I did give that a couple quick coats of the clear coat spray. Probably didn't need it, but I wanted to be safe since it's an everyday use item. Sandra from DIYs at the Schwowen's Nest is also doing some decals like I am. Visit her site and subscribe to her. You won't be disappointed. She does some amazing farmhouse decor. And that's what these could be used on as well. Let's get to DIY 2. I used the other Hippo Transfer Iron-On Film. So I printed on that just like I did the other. But now you're going to heat set this one. You can use your home iron. <gasps> Look at the color change in that. It just pops out. I used one of the $3 um, 
microfiber blankets from Walmart to make a pillow. And I apologize, I zoomed in here so that you could see my gnomes and I didn't get zoomed back out. So as I cut this out at 20 inches around, because my pillow form is 18, um, I didn't get, all I did was glue around the three sides, inside out. Now I'm just showing you, I'm putting my pillow in here, but my pillowcases that normally fit that are 18 inches. So I went 20 so that I have a good seam allowance. I decided to make this kind of like a home pillowcase. So I left the one side open since this will just be out for a couple of weeks. And now I'm just making a nice finished edge there. And as you can see, mm, my mom might be disappointed with this one. She's a much better seamstress and I did not cut that perfectly straight, but I did glue it much better. And then I went back and trimmed all of my edges so that once the pillow is in, you know, you didn't have the edging from the blanket and things there. But just using a little bit of hot glue, I put the ruler underneath so it gave me a nice line to run my glue along. But I'm sorry that I didn't get it when I glued this inside out, but I know you can do that one. All right, just folding this over. And I did want to take the time to kind of show you me doing this one since I did miss the other areas and that it is so simple to do. Now, Hippo isn't sponsoring this or anything, but I've used their products in the past where they have just given it to me to try out. So I want to share them with you again. I'll link it below where you can find it on Amazon. So cute. All right, I'm gonna use the water slide decal one more time for something that you might even have laying around just a white mug. So I printed this out with that whole sheet of decals that I had. And this was just one that I designed myself. If you really want this one or the other Faith one, those are ones I made myself. I could share that with you. But again, that sits in the water for about 30 seconds until it wiggles. Just setting that there to get a little bit of water and sliding that up. I do hope that you're enjoying these different ways to personalize items. And if you are, please let me know what you think you might personalize if you were to use these. I'd also love for you to subscribe to my channel. Watch what I have coming soon. This will definitely be used in some farmhouse ideas. But again, go over to Sanders. I bet you with this video, she's going to be doing some adorable farmhouse DIYs with hers. So we both did this with in mind. So we'll, she's releasing hers the same time I am. So I will link her video below and her channel. Don't forget to visit. But I have some fun spring and Easter DIYs coming up. Oh my goodness. I just, I don't know. All of a sudden it was idea overload. So if you'd like to see those sort of things, join me soon. But there's also some fun Valentine's DIYs I've done recently. I think you saw them in the other pictures. Now I just made a smaller version of the hummingbird on the other side. I thought it might be nice. I don't know. I just loved this hummingbird. Isn't it cute? Oh, those gnomes also did come from design bundles. So they've got some wonderful graphic artists over there. It's designbundles.net if you look it up. All right, I'm just finishing this up, wiping that off. Then you'll just pop this in the oven after it's set. I let it sit overnight and then the next day, pop it in the oven at 300 degrees for about 20 minutes. It just opens up the pores of the ceramic and helps it sit really well. But you do wanna make sure to hand wash both of these as the heat from the dishwasher as it dries could do damage to the decals. 
Aren't those adorable? All right, let me know down below what you would make or what you might make in the future. This is just a much better or another cost efficient way to personalize items. So I will link those below if you're interested. I just love that hummingbird. You do want to make sure also that you put that down low enough so that if you take a drink that your mouth isn't going to be on the decal. And here it is. These were sure fun. I hope you liked them as much as I enjoyed making them for you. Please give me a thumbs up. It's a free way to show your support and let YouTube know you enjoyed my content. Also subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my friends and family. But here's a couple other videos you might enjoy. Have a wonderful day.